Hello friends, welcome back to Foodprints. I'm so very glad you're here with me because the big idea we're exploring today is different plants grow in different seasons. Here where I live in Washington DC, we have four different growing seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And each one of those seasons has a different temperature and different types of weather. Those changes throughout the different seasons have a big impact on what's happening in our gardens. That's what we're looking at today. And that's why today's lesson is called Seasons of the Garden. So let's take a look at the four different seasons and how they affect our gardens. Let's start with winter. Tell me, what do you know about winter? In the winter it's cold and sometimes it snows and you can go sledding. Very good. The weather in winter is cold. The days are shorter, there isn't as much sunlight, and sometimes it snows. And all of this affects our gardens. Not very many plants can grow in this winter weather, but there are a few that are hardy enough to live through the winter. These plants include kale, collards, cabbage. All of these plants have learned to survive the frigid temperatures. Okay, my friends, what can you tell me about spring? In the spring, it starts to get warmer and the flowers start to bloom. Very good. In spring, the days are getting longer, so there's more sunlight and the temperature is just starting to warm up. Spring also brings a little bit more rain to the garden. Some plants, such as peas, spinach, and lettuce, really enjoy this moist, cool spring weather. Okay, now I need someone to tell me about the summer. The summer's when the sun is shining bright and it's hot and we get to swim in the pool. That's exactly right. Summer is when the days are very long, there's a lot more sunlight, and often it's very hot outside. But the plants need these long, hot summer days to help them grow. And when they do, they give us delicious fruits and vegetables like tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers. Okay, there's one more season left. What can you tell me about the fall? In the fall, the weather gets colder and the leaves start to fall from the trees. Absolutely right. In the fall, the days are shorter with less sunlight and the temperature is cooling down. Sometimes it's windy and many trees drop their leaves. The fall garden is full of plants that are finishing up their life cycle before the cold winter comes back again. Dry beans, winter squash, and broccoli are all the plants you're likely to see in the fall. Now that we have all this knowledge about what happens in our gardens during different seasons, it's time to mention one of my favorite garden science words, seasonality. Seasonality means that we can harvest or pick different fruits and vegetables during different seasons. And there's a helpful tool we can use to show the best time of year to plant, grow, and harvest the many different fruits and vegetables that grow in our own neighborhood. It's called a seasonality chart. On the chart, you can see the different seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter and the produce that grows in those seasons. And you might even notice that some plants grow in more than one season. Pretty cool, right? As I mentioned, I live in Washington, DC. So this seasonality chart of mine shows me things that grow here in Washington, DC. If you live in a different place, your seasonality chart might look different because your weather and seasons might be different. So make sure you find a seasonality chart that works for your garden. Okay, I have here examples of fruits and vegetables from each season on my seasonality chart. Let's start with winter. Most winter produce is either really hard, like this winter squash, or this carrot, or dark green leafy vegetables like this kale. Most winter plants do their growing in the fall. And since they can survive in freezing temperatures, we can harvest them all winter. Next, we have some spring vegetables. Lettuce and spinach and peas. 
There are a lot of green colored vegetables in the spring category because they love the mild weather when it's not too hot and not too cold. And guess what? Remember when I said earlier that some things can grow in more than one season? Well, carrots can grow in different seasons. Carrots are pretty amazing and delicious. In the summertime, the more colorful vegetables and fruits begin to arrive. I've got tomatoes and peppers, cucumbers. I even got carrots again, string beans, peaches, and cherries. All of these items love the summer because that's when they get the sun and the hot weather. And here we have some examples of fall produce. More beans, sweet potatoes, and our friends the carrots again. And another vegetable that grows in more than one season? A winter squash. Some of these vegetables need a really long time to be ready for harvest. So they grow all summer long, and then they're ready to harvest or pick in the fall. And that's our four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Can you look out a window right now? If so, what season is it where you live? And what types of fruits and vegetables could you grow right now? Maybe you could make a seasonality chart for the place that you call home. Thanks so much for learning about the seasons, weather, and seasonality with me today. I hope you had fun. See you next time.